Okay, so I'm going to show you how you can extend your seat on pretty much every vehicle yourself without buying expensive pre-made uh, mounts. And for this job, I'm going to be using this 2011 Honda Fit, and I'm pretty sure the Honda Fit owners will really appreciate this video. So let's go ahead and get right to it. All right, so what do you need for the job? Home Depot always carry uh, these type of uh, welding bars. They're still about four gauge, I mean, 10 gauge bars. Really strong, really thick. You can even get even something thicker, but you will have a problem with bending because we're going to be bending those uh, things. Uh, I'm going to show you in a minute why. Uh, these are two inch. Uh, you see right here, this is one and a half. It's not going to work. It's just too thin, uh, but it will work. I mean, it, it's doable. You can do that too. So what we got inside of your vehicle, I already pulled this covers. You know, they just, just pull them up. You kind of try to break them it's really hard to pull them because these little clips right here they keep holding the thing really really hard and really really strong so you actually kind of have to almost break in them okay so i already took them off and this is what we got we got here uh our floor is on the angle and that's the problem that's where you cannot just do a straight shot we not only have to bend the metal properly uh we have to uh go over this wire there's like a little wire right here connection um so we'll have to work something in and, and make this uh, connection properly all right so what's going on in the back of your seat i already pulled these covers as you see it's very easy to pull them down you just kind of push them down pull them down and that's it much easier to remove them at the front and entire floor here actually slides down so it's creating a little dilemma here because we really really have to paint these uh pieces uh really have to bend these pieces just kind of to create a layout and make them as a one piece now uh the right uh, side of the bracket uh, would not be able to slide and move all the way to the back so we could win about three inch right here so we, we will be able to move the seat only three inch back but that's more than enough um uh, because right here this middle piece right here is just going to be pushing against it and just you you cannot move the seat a uh, four or, or up to six inch because you you know you're just going to have a piece right here that's just i mean there's just nowhere to go so in this case i'll be using uh i'll be extending the seat by three inch it's about three inch over here and over here and let's go ahead and get right to it we're gonna remove these bolts we're gonna remove the seat and start working on our plates I just want to show you how it looks like under the seat of Honda Fit and as you see this bracket this is going to be our um, right side close to the passenger is just straight straight bracket from this point of um, um, hole or screw to this point it just goes along where this which is your more of a, on the driver's side yeah this is where we have this band and what we have to do uh, in this particular situation i'm going to straight this bracket up a little bit more up to like here i still going to have a little curve but not as big no don't worry you're not gonna break it it's just going to bend right here and it'll be absolutely fine all right inside of the vehicle you can now have way more access when you remove the seat um, you can kind of put this bar to see how it's gonna lay out. Uh, I'm going to be cutting 26 inch. I already measure uh, How far I need so I'll be cutting 26 inch out of this and uh, right after that we can go and start banding and you can see like there is a little hump here So we'll have to create and recreate this hump All right, I just cut this piece, as you saw, 
and I kind of grind these corners because they were really sharp and uh, just uh, remember in the end we're gonna be painting this because one day it'll get rusty so you definitely don't want that happen so we'll be painting this but now we kind of just have to figure out where to bend and where the bending will be done so as you see here we just have kind of straight shot and then it kind of goes down so it's starting around here so I'm gonna mark my bar around here over here it's more like a straight shot then over here this hump that I were saying earlier I'm gonna mark that too and we're gonna be creating this hump uh, down there drilling the holes we're not even close to drilling the holes yet drilling holes will be at the last moment because we definitely need to make sure all this properly bent and set really good before we mark our bolts uh, mark our holes for the bolts So the first bar is complete, it's bended as you see and it's a perfect fit. There is a slight hump over here uh, but that's fine, it actually worked out perfectly. And uh, over here this is where we created drop, you can do it even more. But so far looks so good and the bolts uh, are going to tie this bar uh, down anyway. Um, this metal is not super uh, strong to bend but let me tell you this the original um, um the original amount that under the seat um that metal is it's like twice thinner so um that metal even easier to bend so this is going to be very durable very durable mount and um since it's a whole entire bar goes along it really going to secure the seat and that seat it's never going to go anywhere This is not good. I broke my vise. This is how I was basically bending my bar using some hammer and uh, my vise is freaking broke off. So be careful when you're doing this. Now it seems like this like a little base ring. Uh, it seems like it's been broken for a while already. I just didn't know about it. You can kind of see the rust down there. Let me see if the camera can pick it up. Yeah, we're like right there, you see the like a little yellowish rust. So it seems like it's just gave up. You know, this is a Harbor Freight vice. <laughs> we're back at bending. Look at my nice vice. It's um, going nowhere and hopefully this one I'll be able to leave for my grandkids if I ever have a grandkids because these usually last for ages but not in case of a uh, harbor freight down there. Oh, well, let's get right to it. So uh, this is basically how I'm going to use uh, this um, um, vise actually uh, can turn 360, which is really good. Um, if not, you can uh, mess around with your vise and make a turn and make bendings how you want it. But basically this is how I'm just bending all this with hands and with the hammer and creating the the turns in the metal this is how i've been doing it all right this is our first bar perfectly aligned and this is our second bar looking like this perfectly aligned we can shim it with uh, washers here and there where we can see the crisp go all the way around the wire and actually it's a little bit high than i was uh, going to do so i can still kind of play around and bend it back now i was going to tell you how to get rid of uh, these white spots since uh the seat will not going to be mount in a location so you can either just simply paint this or use one of these this is kind of like a, a a fabric type of uh, electric tape it's very good it's very sticky you can just tape all this and that's it now don't use um electric wire because it's getting hot in the car so i'm, I'm pretty sure it will um will be 
uh, it'll just come off uh, one day but uh, duct tape you can use black duct tape if you want um, if you do not want to paint if you do not want to wait till we get paint because remember you'll be able to see this little white spots around when you install your seat and this isn't just not going to look good how I am marking the holes for the bolts I literally just move this piece and I slide it a little bit away and I'm just kind of finding the center okay for example this is the center right here and then I will be just drilling the hole right on the center over here now I'll be drilling a slightly bigger hole uh, just so uh, it will have some movements just so I can misalign the bolts and uh, properly uh, because you know obviously it's not gonna be perfect uh, uh, it's not no, it's not going to align perfectly so by drilling a little bit bigger hole will allow me to have uh, free movements All right, this is how it looks like. I drilled the holes. It took me a while because I was keep stepping up at different bits. Now the bolts, these bolts I picked up from Lois and these are metric bolts, uh, M10 by one and a quarter and 40. 40, this is millimeter. So this is the size I picked up. By the way, the 40 millimeter means uh, from the top of the bolt all the way to the bottom so only the thread is count and this is exactly 40 millimeter, millimeters now entire bolts uh, if you want the measurements in inches this is a little under uh, two inch this is bolt is little under two inch the whole thing not just the thread we do need a length uh, a little bit more than original bolt because obviously the thickness of the steel we're gonna be shimming also uh, you're gonna be shimming yourself because it depends how you bend uh, this uh, bracket yourself uh, your uh, result is going to be slightly different than mine so just grab a washer find the washers that will fit for example this washer will perfectly fit I'm just gonna go through all my big washers and I'm gonna be shimming here and there um, and this is how I'm gonna be doing it um, you don't really have to shim it but it really helps to shim it here and there uh, just to kind of straight up the seat don't have to be precise what's good about this project was good about uh, the way how I'm doing it that all these have a lot of movements all these don't have to be super precise okay like for example if you didn't cut the bolt enough and you didn't align this you can just simply uh, press this bracket and move it away also I made the hole much bigger so we have a lots of play here uh, for us to move this bracket around so let's go ahead and continue doing this we're going to be measuring three inches of each hole right here three inches and we're going to be drilling out more holes all right what to do with uh, this front bracket this is really accurate uh design the way how the honda did and unless you're spending three hundred dollars on uh, extend my seat and buying um, those brackets for crazy amount of money which this is not what this video about this is a do-it-yourself project with this particular uh, mount we're going to be removing this whole thing out of the rail and the reason why is because this rail is so flimsy this metal over here is actually thinner than the whole mount itself uh, and just no, there is no way you can bend this and make this piece straight like it's supposed to we need to straight this piece um, no way no way you can do this while it's connected to the rail so we're gonna drill this things out right here 
uh, the stamps we're gonna drill them out uh, and uh, straight this bracket off the rail and put it back with some bolts and knots and put some Loctite in there so it'll definitely not going um, anywhere Alright, this is how it's going to look like approximately. I marked three inch over there just so I can kind of see where the seat is going to be. And as you see, it's all fit perfectly. I did bend uh, the bracket just slightly back so, uh, so it wouldn't be so straight as I uh, just did. Now we have these little corners. As you see right there, they're kind of on the way. So in my case, I'm probably just going to remove this bar uh, and bend it a little bit more. Um, now I just put these washers here temporary just so I can tie down uh, this bar uh, My bolts ended up being a little bit longer than I need so I'll be cutting them off because in the end uh, of the bolt inside of the body It's like the stop um, So there is no way for the bolt to go So I'll be cutting them down as well as over here. I did the same thing. I just simply uh, Put washers here temporary so I can at least tie down uh, this bar and secure also I did it in the end over there now I temporarily secure one of the mounts here with just a one inch bolt similar thickness nothing special just I found a couple of bolts in my um, shop one inch that's only what you need and it work out perfectly with a couple of washers and like the stop washer that will help to uh, prevent from un untidying um, the bolt so one inch works really great for uh, this uh, setup now the problem is uh, since uh, you move the seat all the way up and uh, like this really awkward location the way how the, uh, the 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 Honda did this little crib you know this little band down here um, you ended up raising the seat I mean there's just no way around you ended up raising the seat uh, about an inch high but believe me one inch uh, it's really not going to make any difference for your riding uh, you'll get used to it very easy super easy one inch is really not a lot of um, uh, increasing uh, So over here on this end unfortunately, this is how high I have to rise the seat and you, as you see it's about an inch I already put uh, uh, two washers down there um, under the bar um, I probably will remove the bar and try to bend this and do a little like a crisp um, Here or maybe not. We're just gonna leave it like this um, you will not be able to see these washers because the cover will go perfectly right over it So it's not gonna look really um, Awkward, but I ended up putting all these washers there just so I can secure um, This seat up properly and I ended up using obviously a bigger bolt and then um, uh, One inch, but it's only in this location and why this is happening is because the whole seat going up and uh, it supports right now on uh, this bracket so for the reason everything kind of going up especially this side right there and also how do you test if your seat is uh, straight or not I just put my leveler here and this is how I find out if my seat is straight or not you can kind of move around your seat and see if your leveler is straight or not uh, before it was really bad like for example I can remove these washers put them to the side and I can technically push this down and mount my seat all the way down it's not really going to do anything but the problem is your seat gonna be extremely crooked look at that leveler that leveler all the way to the right side 
so your seat will be extremely crooked I mean you can see how much play it, it have when I trying to tie this bolt down like this all the way without shimming it with about an inch of washers so it's just something for you to concern and once again this is how I used to find out what's the level of my seat like for example if I put this on the passenger side it looks really good like it's just straight Okay, so it seems like it's too complicated. It seems like you need all these tools. You need a grinder, bandsaw, drill press. You really don't. You can do all this yourself with just the hand tool, with just the drill, regular drill, with the regular drill bits, or uh, 
hand saw. I mean, you can do all this yourself with absolutely no problems. But the one thing that you will definitely need is a uh, device. Device is like one number thing. At least you can find something that you can hold your metal bracket, metal piece, and, and bend uh, and all this. Uh, so as you see, it was very easy to do. Uh, looks really nice, really professional, and that saved you $300, if not more. The whole project cost me uh, around $50, $60, if not counting the tools, obviously. I mean, I had all these uh, tools. All right, so uh, there's something for you to know after you uh, finish with your project, that the position of your seat is going to change, and this is going to be very critical, very important. You, the things that you might need to get used to. Now, this is uh, especially for Honda Fit owners. Now, since the seat it mount really awkward in this vehicle, your seat position is slightly going to change, and there's just no way around. Now, I mentioned at the beginning of this video, uh, your seat will gonna go up by an inch. Actually, it's not. It's like a whole two inch. So you're definitely going to sit higher. Uh, very, very, very important to know. If you're working with another car, and if you're um, um, doing something else, then it's it's all about layout of your floor so uh, just keep that in mind also since you sit back the position of your arms it's kind of you know change like I can't really put my arm uh, on this um, side anymore uh, because of that because I'd sit way way uh, back now the armrest on this side as you notice it's different it's not original Honda um, the armrest is just like the cheap one that I bought from Amazon it works really great absolutely love it uh, this foldable armrest that was here earlier, all these years, it was just ridiculous. It's just, just the worst thing ever uh, they came up with. Um, so just for you to keep something in mind, you know, if your armrest, uh, your armrest is gonna be, you know, changed. You're gonna sit higher. Also, particularly with the Honda Fit, um, uh, this uh, vehicle floor, uh, like I was mentioning, it goes down. So your seat is gonna be on the angle. So you're gonna be like sitting a little bit down, a little bit back, the front will be a little bit higher, uh, just uh, because of how the floor drops down on this particular car. So uh, on your car, whatever your car work with, it could be completely um, different. You might not change at all. Uh, that's why I was shimming it with all the washers. You saw all the washers, it's not gonna hurt. You can shim as much as you want, make sure the bolts is long enough and actually gonna be mounted and hold it uh, properly. So I shim a little bit, just kind of straight it up and that's about it. I don't mind the fact that it's um, a little bit on angle and actually a little bit more comfortable. Um, another thing that you have to uh, be aware that since you sit pack, now you have to reach to the steering wheel like the steering wheel is um uh, i mean i know it moves out in and out on most of the vehicle these days now some vehicles not so just be aware about that uh some vehicle have a limit like for the for example with this particular one i cannot i have to reach like for example if i sit all the way back and i'm just having a long distance drive this is how i like to sit i'm sorry just come for me i have a long legs and now I notice that I have to kind of reach to the steering wheel uh, and uh, got to be aware of that, you know, just so keep this also in mind, you know, you might can drop the, the steering wheel a little bit down, it might help. Uh, maybe your steering wheel really pulls out, which is good, it depends on the car. With the particular, this car, again, Honda Fit, I found myself, if I sit really that far back, I gotta have to kind of reach to it, you know, but it's fine. I actually like to hold my steering wheel on the bottom of it anyway. So, you know, it's really relaxing to drive now. Absolutely love to drive this car now. Before it was ridiculous. Uh, this Honda Fit, the Honda Fit owners will definitely understand, especially guys who's over 60 feet tall. So this is it guys. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And as always, thank you for watching. Stay tuned.